When it comes to engine size, people never want to go smaller. They only want to go bigger and bigger. Well, those people are in luck. That is, if they visit Eric Koenig, the majority owner of Horsepower Research in McKinney, Texas. Eric and Horsepower Research build the largest LS1 engine in the world at 527 cubic inch displacement. Talk about living up to the slogan, everything's bigger in Texas. Hi everyone, I'm Greg Jones, the managing editor of Engine Builder Magazine, and welcome to another episode of Engine of the Week. This video is sponsored by Cometic Gasket, sealed by Cometic, and by Pengrade Oil. Precision, performance, Pengrade. Always the original green oil. Eric Koenig refined his engine building chops as both a student and teacher at the School of Automotive Machinists in Houston. It was there that he first started doing a lot of LS engine work, as well as industry firsts on the LS platform. For the last eight or nine years, Koenig has been doing engine work on his own, until last year when he moved up to the Dallas area from Houston and went into business with a few partners to start Horsepower Research, also known as HPR. The shop is now a little over a year old and has four full-time employees. Horsepower Research does work on small block and big block Chevys and small block Fords, but LS engines are HPR's bread and butter. Now, no LS engine from HPR is more well known than the one we are featuring today, this 527 CID LS1. This particular engine wasn't a customer request, but rather one Eric wanted to build, making it the largest displacement for this engine in the world. In fact, only LSX Race Engines Australia, a division of GM Motorsport, has done one as well. But Eric insists his is still the biggest. They have an engine like ours that's for those little boats that race in the canals. I think they've only built one, but it's one half cubic inch smaller. We do those as um, race engines, endurance engines, drag race engines, and then mostly for street cars. With the tall deck blocks like Dart and RHS specifically, you can put a lot more stroke and have a lot longer cylinders and you can make the engine even bigger. So then you can go up to a real race car cylinder head and the horsepower does scale. We have stuff that makes more than blower cars, and there's not a blower. They open right. the hood, and they're like, where's the nitrous? Where's this? There is none. Koenig does admit that while he's built many 527 LS1 engines to date, at this level, it isn't an easy build. To make the engine a reality, he uses a custom crankshaft from Bryant, where every counterweight is different, so it can be shoehorned into the block. HPR also uses its own custom steel connecting rods, with Wiseco pistons and total steel rings, comp cams, Brodick cylinder heads, and Cometic gaskets. We can only use Cometic because even with the taller deck and with everything, to get our piston right, we run the piston way out of the hole, and we use a real tall head gaskets they make that are like 150 tall, and um, they have a built-in aluminum space around them. Since the 527 engines are so big, even with the best heads in the world, Koenig says they run out of air by about 8,000 RPM. This allows for a lot more lift because of the low RPMs and makes a more reliable engine. However, it's the manifold that Koenig says is the main reason why most people don't build these engines because the wrong manifold can chop off horsepower potential. Yet, the manifold and the cylinder heads are the stars of making this engine tick when done the right way. All said and done, with Eric's expertise on this world's largest LS1, the engine can crank out between 650 and 720 wheel horsepower with a compression ratio around 11.5 to 1, depending on the application. With a quality manifold, this engine can go as high as 750 horsepower at the wheels. Maybe Texas should change that slogan to everything's bigger and faster in Texas. Well, that does it for this episode of Engine of the Week. A special thanks to Cometic Gasket and Pengrade Motor Oil. And don't forget, if you have an engine that you'd like to see featured, please email me at gjones at babcox.com. See you all next time.